Hey! Tony and Chelsea Northrup, and this is Tony and Chelsea Live. Today we're going to talk about your favorite photographers. We'll check out their portfolios and go over their work. Not formally, just kind of showing off whoever you really admire. Uh, we'll also be looking Wait, at some of your photos. I thought this show was about people's dream gear. Yes, we changed the topic at the last minute. Thank this week we're going to be talking about your dream gear. What camera or lens do you wish you had if there were no restrictions financially or whatever you win the lottery what do you buy then what we were going to go with dream photographer and then or your favorite photographer and i looked up uh, david Ch la chapelle's portfolio i told you it's all boobs and it's all boobs <laughs> and like we can't broadcast his this. name should be david boob chapelle you can't do that <laughs> okay what else are we doing uh, I just now dragged down some Cafe Patron oh, no. with five glasses. So this is dangerous. Somebody's going to have to stand up Are and, those glasses all for and me? pour some shots. <laughs> shot, shot, shot. Who wants to be the bartender? We have uh, some people in our studio audience here. <laughs> Richard and Allie and, of course, Justin working the camera. And Siobhan out of Pennsylvania is screening your comments. So She's go ahead and write something in. She's out of Pennsylvania. In... She's out of Philly. Philadelphia. Okay. It's different. I understand. All right. Philadelphia people apparently don't associate with Pennsylvania. I just made that up. We're also doing live photo reviews. Go to sdp.io slash submit and send up a picture and it will pop up in our Lightroom here and then we can take a look at it. We're doing something else. Keep it up to one picture per person unless you have a really funny picture and then you can put us up a second picture and it has to be funny. No, I don't. You know what? I don't trust that because people be sneaking. People have a terrible sense people of humor. People be sneaking <laughs> pictures. <laughs> And, um, yeah, go ahead. We're also doing a live Stop It, the photo segment where I make fun of you and your bad picture. And you can submit your bad picture to sdp.io slash. Stop it. Stop it. And this needs to be a picture where you tried something that you thought was going to be awesome. Spot color, something sexy that ended up weird. Oh, yeah, weird, sexy is good. Bad Awful HDR. Props, bad HDR. Weird expressions, terrible baby pictures oh, are my favorite. You Those had that picture hilarious. that you thought was cool at the time, but now you see it in your in Lightroom and you kind of cringe like, oh, God, send it to us. We'll all make fun of it. It'll fun be a of good you. time. It'll be fine. <laughs> you'll, get, you'll get through it. We'll get through it together. Wait, um, is this episode brought to them by Squarespace? It sure is. What? Why don't you talk about how wonderful Squarespace is? <laughs> Have you guys heard of yeah, this place called that? Squarespace? It's the all in one platform for. Richard, hey. <laughs> Richard, move your head. <laughs> move over this way. <laughs> <laughs> it's the all-in-one platform for creating a fast and easy <laughs> portfolio or website. And uh, if you want to, if you want to try good. that, you can do it for 14 days for free. No credit card needed. I think you're gonna love it. And if you do, you can get 10% off by using the coupon code. Photo live. It is like a hundred degrees in here, is it not? <laughs> I'm sweating my butts off. <laughs> All right. Uh, um. So, what do you want to do, Richard? You have got your priorities in order. You're like, I don't care about Squarespace. <laughs> Squarespace is great. Use it. Okay. Okay. Um. Should we start with the shot now that they're all here? I can't. I we gotta wait. A you little. gotta cool off a little bit. Ooh. Okay, we'll come back to the cafe patron. Um. What? <laughs> I went ahead and cleared out all the pictures people had dropped in before we were here. Uh, I figured out how to fix this so it doesn't change. I'll just turn off auto import. We're okay. This oh. is the only picture we're showing from last week. Somebody posted this picture of Chelsea. I just thought it was really funny. I feel like they captured my spirit. Yeah, they took a screen grab of it. Um, I'm going to make that my profile picture for everything. So, going on to the next that picture. Was a lot. Go full screen. <sighs> wow, this is just relaxing me just looking at it. Yeah, it's so quaint. That, that's a really nice picture. Nice, you can definitely tell what's going on in I'm the background. I'm seeing beach colors. Has a nice context. Yeah. Nice, simple, beautiful picture. I, I can't. It's like a stock photo. Give it a pick. Flag it as a pick. I give it a P. So here Swiss we have a made. Tissot watch from 1853. Wait, I think it'd be Tissot, right? Because they don't say, like, the last T over there. They're always just like, forget about it. Yeah, photography and linguistics. That's what we're covering today. Yeah. Y'all um, know. It's definitely underexposed. Even if you want it to be kind of a dark picture, you still need something white. And uh, you just had nothing white in there. So just raise it up a little bit. 
you did a pretty good job working the reflection. You need some some light source or white card or black card or something to show off the texture of a reflective surface like the crystal in a watch. Oh, I uh, so you have that there. My yeah, go for it. Is broken. That's not working for you? Why did you do this to me? Is it turned on? Oh, I got it. All right. I would just put up the clarity up just a smidgen. And uh, maybe the highlights as well. I like this. Great shot. If you're just joining us and you want us to review your photo, go to sdp.io slash submit. If you have something hilarious that we can make fun of, <laughs> sdp.io slash stop it. We'll we get so later. many requests. People want us to do the stop it segment. And then I go on there and I'm like, guys, give me your bad photos from the stop it segment. It's like crickets. It's like, <laughs> yeah, have you have to set aside your ego a little bit. Acknowledge that you've improved. You moved beyond it. Let us make fun of you. Here's a close-up picture of Come on, guys. a CD kind of showing the prism effect. Um, I think it's very cool. Great, great idea. I like the kind of off-center composition. I like rainbows. Um, I, I wish the crop were a little more perfect. See how I, I, this circle here is going to be a key element. That's one of the first things my eye went to. And I want it to be more perfectly balanced. So I, I just want the crop to be about the same on both sides of it. Never so, satisfied. Minor touch. Um, in fact, you know, maybe... We'll just crop right into the circle entirely. Minor, minor point. Okay. Good shot. Here we have a portrait. The position of the sun is really good, I think, because it's, there's no hard light on her I face, like but it lights lighting. up her hair. The background blur is really nice. Yeah, the lighting is nice. I like this picture. Yeah, it feels like a candid because her eyes are going off camera mm -hmm. rather than looking directly at it's you. Nice. Yeah, good shot, good crop. I sit down and I don't have any other feedback. Here we have kind of a selective focus showing a pattern. What happened? What's happening? I don't know what that is. is it looks like amber. Oh, I'm going to crop that in. I, I don't know what? if this would help. You're getting a little crop crazy. Yeah, I was just thinking about cropping into it to better show like a pattern. I don't know if that, that Let's doesn't see. help. Hmm, that's not better. I don't I don't know. <laughs> Cool picture. If you I like, like it. add some color to it, or one other thing, or maybe it's just a nice maybe, pattern. Maybe we could. I always go for the split toning. You know, we really have our crutches, don't we, Tony? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. To add or a little, maybe like, maybe you just pop. go totally nuts so, and then people are like, "What am I looking at?" That's not right. I don't know. It's a fun picture. Let's keep moving. Oh no, look at this cat. <laughs> Why do you say oh no? <laughs> What's hap what happened to it? It's like, right now. <laughs> right? Is it making a face or is it just me? I, I think you're really hurting somebody's feelings right now. <laughs> <laughs> they love their cat friend. I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks like it's saying, uh oh. Like it's like, oh. like it just broke something and mom just found out <laughs> and this cat is terrified of the consequences. <laughs> Oh, we don't have any metadata, unfortunately, but I can see this was done with a shallow depth of field, and unfortunately, the camera focused on the, the cat's nose, um, leaving the eyes out of focus. So you want the eyes to be in focus. You want to pick a single focus point, move it over to the side, and put it right on the animal's eye. Other than that, good picture. I like it. A dove. Kind of an uncomfortable crop for me. You know, I'd rather see it just closer. There's just a lot of, like, space over its head that's kind of unexplained. Otherwise, good exposure. Oh, yeah. It Might needs to be in black and white. Bit. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't feel like the colors are distracting. Everything else is kind of gray, so it's like real life spot color. It's real life spot color? I like your crop. Hey, don't forget to what? write your dream gear. If you win the lottery, what would you buy? Put it in the comments. Oh, yeah, let me check Siobhan the comments. will paste it over to us. Looks like we have some stuff. Do you want to? That's wanna... a lot of comments. <laughs> People like this topic. Um, do you want to go over and talk about? Siobhan said, "Damn straight, I'm out of Philly." I see. I knew she would be all like. Bad. I didn't know people in Philadelphia didn't associate with Pennsylvania. It's just different. Look, I'm from Pflugerville, but people from Pflugerville say we're from Texas. We're not like, oh, we don't associate with the state of Texas. We are Pflugervillians. No, we talk about Texas. <laughs> yeah, but nobody wants to be from Pflugerville. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
my dream setup Leica MP New 2014 with Noctilux M. Wow. Yeah, they just announced the the Leica MP, and if if you're a Leica person, that's probably what you want. <laughs> and their more realistic dream <laughs> setup really like is an XT1 with an XF 56 millimeter f1.2. Yeah, th that's a really nice combination. That 56 millimeter f1.2. It behaves like an 85 millimeter f1.8 on a full frame camera. Um, it's expensive, but super sharp and nice and and tight. I like the XT1 a lot. Um, perfect forehand's favorite. His dream camera slash lens setup would be a Canon 1DX with a Canon EF 1200mm uh, f5.6 <laughs> LUSM. That is a $100,000 lens. They're really rare. Canon's only made a few of them. I saw that there's one for sale now in the UK used for about 100 k uh, It's, I don't know what the lens weighs. It must be like 30 pounds or something. It's, it's basically unmanageable. You don't handhold that combination. No, I could do it. I've been working out. <laughs> I'll tell you mine. Um, Hasselblad just announced a uh, 200 megapixel camera. That's I don't what even Billy know what Ranger it costs. said. He wants a Hassy. Yeah, that's what I want. You know, what? I started thinking well, about a, the Hassy. It's like a 50 megapixel camera, but it does this fancy trick where you can get 200 megapixels from still life subjects. It like moves the sensor around a little bit. Anyway, I'm a, like a studio photographer guy. I love medium format. What that's what you, I want. What would you do with it? I would just take really detailed pictures of whatever, anything. Like this glass? <laughs> I, would, I would not care. If I could get 200 megapixels, that would be too much fun for me. Don't be taking 200 megapixel pictures of me. No, you wouldn't be wanting to take any portraits of that thing. No. <laughs> uh, what, what about your dream gear, Charles? Um, I want the Canon 600 millimeter lens because we have the, the 500 F4. millimeter and 500 millimeter F4, and I love that lens. And uh, you were telling me the 600 millimeter is the same weight, but just 20% yeah, bigger. Same weight, same size, yeah. longer reach. Yeah, so just an that'd be sharper too. awesome. Yeah, right now I'm actually drooling over the, the Nikon 600 F4 because I want, I want to put it on that D810. Oh, yeah. I want all that detail. Oh, yeah. I'm an Nikon boy now. No, what? What are you saying? You know how many <laughs> messages I have to deal with every time? You're so reckless. <laughs> You're so reckless. Best camera ever made. What else you got Okay, there? now you're just being controversial. <laughs> That's true. Um, uh, sorry, I'm slow. Junie PXPX says, my dream gear right now would be Nikon D4S and the Zeiss Otis 55 millimeter. Yeah, that would be an extremely sharp and good combination. I, I don't know, the Zeiss Otis, it's a manual focus, very fast lens. Uh, for me, I'd rather have I guess I don't know why I'm arguing with people's dreams. <laughs> I'd rather have the D810 and that Sigma 50 millimeter that we that we uh, reviewed. But cool, that's your dream. The Hasselblad is just as impractical, so why not? You want to know what Jerry Johnson said? Yeah, what's Jerry saying? This is so Jerry. The gear doesn't matter. That said, I'd just like a photo session with you both and a brick of Velveeta. Oh, where is his dream? I would wear, I want to see you in like a Velveeta bikini uh -huh. with yeah, the singles. A lot of people do. I could make it happen. <laughs> I'm pretty crafty. Yeah, you or Jerry could make that happen. So come on over. Maybe both of you together. All right. Sounds like a real weird party. Yep. It's a weird, <laughs> weird party. Um, did we, did anyone submit any pictures for Stop It yet? Yeah, we have some pictures submitted. Let's do it. You want to jump into it right oh, now? We could wait if you want. Yeah, I wanted to give people time to queue it up and then we can just go through them all at once. So it's not too late, go to sdp.io slash stop it to submit the pictures that you're embarrassed about and we will make fun of them along with all the people in the comments. And if you want us to review your picture live, go to scp.io slash submit. And we're still taking uh, suggestions for your dream camera and lens combination if you win the freaking lottery. The freaking lottery. Okay, so here we have a sunflower and it's actually a great picture of a sunflower. There's not a lot of distractions. The light is nice and smooth. That really yeah. shows off the, the texture. I don't know. Can you not. think of There's anything else to say bug about bug in the corner? Yeah. Good shot. Cool. Okay. Yeah. A uh, nice sunset picture. I like the geometry of it. The way the the line is kind of moving from the top here and going towards the center. Good I picture. like the okay. colors. Yeah. Very nice. This one's interesting. I like it. 
Yeah, I don't. I don't know what, know it what is, to say about but it. I like it. Yeah, feel the same way. Richard's crawling around. <laughs> yeah, you got to try to catch Richard crawling whenever you can, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he's doing it to avoid being on camera. Yeah, come on, let's let's be opportunistic here. Uh, so that's that's a cool picture. He's he's obviously showing the Mercedes symbol and what looks like a older Mer Mercedes with some like so solar flare yeah, coming in pretty. here. It's yeah, pretty. it's cool. Nice background. Nice light. Mr. T-Plex, when we were talking about the hacks last week, was talking about propping a stone underneath the camera. So I guess he wanted to show a demonstration. Of I his... see. Like a makeshift tripod. Yeah. Okay. He's trademarked that. Uh, so this looks like a nice scene. I like the colors. It's nice and cool. Yeah. Like it's leaning towards the blue side. You can see I could fix the white balance and it might look more like the human eye would perceive it but it I like it nice and cool um, mm, but they focused chilling. here in the foreground and the focal point is clearly here this is where your eye goes but then the composition wouldn't work if that were in focus what do you mean because then there'd be too much out of focus in the foreground oh yeah you know maybe the right solution is is just to use a higher f-stop number. They're at f8. Yeah. Um, and they had plenty of shutter speed. They could have they could certainly have done gone it. with f32 or something. Uh, or do focus stacking, which we describe yeah. in the macro section of stunning digital photography. Is this the uh, same person? I feel like this is the same person. And this is a stronger picture. This here in the foreground doesn't necessarily add to the picture. Um, I want them to walk a little closer to the ledge. Maybe that wouldn't be safe. <laughs> but I think I'd rather see that out you and just focus on that, the, you? the mountains. So dangerous. What do you got to say about this? We have a very saturated Ooh, sunset picture. Uh, I want to see what's happening in these shadows, I think. Whoa. A little bit too saturated. Yeah, yeah that was my first take. Still very pretty. Yeah. Maybe they're just going for a dreamy thing, but um, I do think it's a problem if the first thing you think is that's overdone or that's a little too much. It can be a style. Yeah, it can be a style. But it is, it's a beautiful scene. Okay. I really like this picture. Yeah, I like this too. It's just so clean. Simple and stark and clean and no distractions. And it has a focal point. Without this boat, I wouldn't, the picture wouldn't register at all. But I like the boat. This is the subject, and you think about that tiny little boat. Great shot. Because there are no distractions in it, it totally works. It's so smooth, and I love the complementary colors. You don't want to crop it, either no. of you? No, no, I don't. Justin soon sounds like he wants to crop it. Did you want to crop it, or are you? No, fun I don't want to crop it. I just, I know you guys just are say fond it. of cropping. Maybe That's you want to crop it. <laughs> Tony crops everything. I, I didn't to, crop that. He tries to crop me in real life. It's hurtful. <laughs> it's hurtful. That's me trying to cut you. Um, <laughs> did we have any other comments about? Too many. Okay. What are people's, oh, John O'Keefe says uh, F430 Ferrari Scuderia. Screw the camera. That's what he said. Screw the camera. <laughs> well, that wasn't really the question, Johnny. Yeah, I'd rather have some cool cars than that Hasselblad. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know we were doing it like that. No. Wouldn't be a cheesy Ferrari. I haven't though. seen the that car, that version of the Ferrari. Well, that's a conversation for another time. No, I'd go Aston. You got anything else there, Charles? I have some questions. Yeah, yell them out. Um, Robinator says, "Hey, Tony, Chelsea, why only 720p? Because you get what you get, and you don't get upset." <laughs> well, it's it's, it's live stream. It's live, yeah. Yeah, so we can do 1080. I mean, we broadcast everything else in 4K. Um, and we could theoretically do 1080 from here, but the bandwidth can get a little tight and that can cause stuttering and very few people even watch it in 720. So, Fet Singer 10 says, Tony has his perfectly shaved Velveeta face today. Is there an anniversary or anything? <laughs> um, no, one day I was like, Tony, shave your face. And he did. Yeah, so my philosophy is I... <laughs> I have no personal sense of style. I do not care what I look like. I hardly ever look in the mirror. Chelsea looks at me far more than I look at me. So she gets to pick what I look like. And she likes this shirt, so I wear this shirt. 
She wanted me with the goatee for a while. I wore a goatee. She said she didn't want me with a goatee. She wanted me clean yeah, shaven. Yeah, but now I feel like I'm with another shaven. man. Yeah, you feel like you're cheating. <laughs> I'm just kind of like spicing up the marriage. <laughs> I'm having an affair with a very hairless Tony. <laughs> Next week, he's going to have his eyebrows shaved off. <laughs> I'm getting a little weird with it. Let's see what other questions we got here. Uh, Mr. T-Plex, that's the stone under the camera guy, says, question... Which is the best first prime lens, or which was your first prime lens? I love the 50 millimeter 1.4. What do you like? Um, if I had to pick a single prime lens, it would probably be like a 35 millimeter equivalent on, on full frame. Um, I like to go a little bit wider. Okay. But it depends I what you want to take that. pictures of. I love the 50 millimeter. I think it's so versatile. Yeah, that, that 50 millimeter is just a I think fantastic I'm right. lens. I think you don't. You're okay. You're okay. What are you looking at over here? Um, I was just going to pull up a portfolio for us to look at. I'm reading more questions. Should... Okay, go for it. Oh, we did. We already looked at this one. I remember that flower girl. Oh, or did we, we okay. just look at her picture? Go ahead and read more questions, and I'll pull up a couple of links. Okay. Um, Darlene Watkins says her dream gear is the Mark. Three and the Canon 100 macro lens. What do you think about that, Tony? I'm sorry, say that again. Darlene Watkins says her dream gear is the Mark III and the Canon 100 macro lens. Um, yeah, I okay. I I'd probably go for the D810 with that too, but that's cool. <gasps> oh, you're I don't know what she's D810. taking macro pictures of. And Corey says, I just want someone to buy all of my Canon gear so I can start over. Well, Ooh, Corey, you woo. can find that person on eBay. I'm yeah, just certain. go on eBay. You just won't have gear for a while. <laughs> Look at this cute little seal. This is Trung Lam Photography. This site is hosted so on Squarespace, cute. who happens to be our sponsor, but they make amazing portfolios that are super easy to set up. And if you decide you want your own Squarespace portfolio, you can go to squarespace.com slash Tony and use the coupon code PHOTOLIVE. I love mine. You should go to chelsea.northrop.com. Yep, or... Northrop I update it all the time. Com. Like it's the first portfolio I've had that I've really liked, and that I'm not just saying that because they're my sponsor. I've had several others that I completely neglected and found really frustrating, and this one is just so easy and fun to use. Yeah, same here. Squarespace is definitely just the best, and we hear from people all the time. Um, I haven't really ever had a serious complaint about Squarespace. Erky doesn't like it. Yeah. Maybe I'm not supposed to say that, but I don't care. Erky doesn't like it. He really likes to customize. But I'll also say that he's a person that will put hours and hours and weeks into making his portfolio. And so I, I think most people aren't like that, but it works for him. But I yeah, like but it's also very customizable. You just have to learn the system. But they let you change the CSS and the HTML and yeah. whatever you want to do. So here we have Trung Lam's photography and pops right up to some animal pictures. Uh, these are all nice tight shots, so you kind of get a sense of the style here. A couple of these pictures didn't Ooh. have... Precise yes. focus on the eyes. That's something you really have to look out for. But most of these pictures are nice and tight. I love the wildlife pictures. Yeah. Nature's beauty. Look at the nice full screen interface. I do like that. Yeah, these are all really nice. Yeah, this is interesting. I'm getting a little... I think there are a few too many. Maybe. Really? I don't... No, you don't Let's feel Let's see it. how many he has. 12, 13 yeah. pictures. That's not too bad. Right. He does have quite a few different... Oh, that's oh, a great that's shot. Beautiful. That's just fantastic. That's the best shot I've seen so far. Yeah. I might even want to lead with that. The yeah. people aren't huge fans of, fans of flies. That's a great shot, too. Yeah. You want to get the focus on the nearest eye. and A damselfly is such a tiny animal that there's no way you can focus. You have to move your body in and out and just take a ton of pictures, yeah. and then one of them will luckily be in focus, hopefully. But you simply can't focus that precisely, not with any sort of modern gear, not with a moving subject. Yeah, it's really difficult. Yeah. Anyway, nicely done. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's, that's really a, a very pretty shot. This is a great portfolio. Um, bug butt. Yeah, that one's a little, not the focus isn't where I'd want it, and the bug is facing away. This looks like a dead spider. Dead animals usually don't count. Well, no, I try to get the dead ones because they don't move when yeah, you try to take is. a picture of them. That, that's a great Just portrait. Just for fun. That's cute. I'm actually surprised. Oh, look at his little hand. Yeah. 
that's a terribly cute shot. In fact, these are all great shots. You ever see the chameleon online that tries to grab water? He's like, I just can't get it. <laughs> so cute. I feel like you missed the focus on the eyes here, too. But it's a good shot overall. Uh, all right, look. They set up a store because you can do that with Squarespace. Every site, every, all levels have a store. Uh, the higher levels My allow you to add more items. My favorite picture is the sea lion. He's so cute. Yeah, he really is That's cute. That's what He's, I look like after I eat chocolate. That's such a peaceful <laughs> expression. Let's see if Trung has... All right, he's got a picture of himself there. He's got a separate contact page with an email address. Perfect. Great. And a link to his Facebook page. Whoa. Like. Go ahead and <gasps> like Trung for us. Wow. Like Trung. Um, I'll tell you what. If you want to set up your own portfolio, yeah. tell them where to go. Squarespace.com slash Tony. Yes. And what coupon code should they use? Tony stinks. Use the coupon code photo live, <laughs> and you can be as cool as Trung Lam here. Um, you saw his portfolio was full full screen, completely immersive. Everything just works seamlessly, no bugs. You could pull up an iPad or an iPhone or an Android device or a tablet or anything, and it would look fantastic on it. They've done all that hard engineering work for you. All you do is supply the pictures, drop it in, customize it, choose from more than a dozen different templates, make it your own. Yeah, we should have people tell us which te template they're using. Because I liked his. I would like to uh, convert mine to that one. Yeah, he did have a really good template. Um, he had a few things to say oh, about Squarespace, he too. Say? He said, I like the layout, and it's user-friendly. I like the layout, too. Yep. Trung and I are on the same page. Um, well, I'll tell you what. I think we what? should take a break. We have a video to show from our friend Tigar, whom some Tigar. of you know. He made a tutorial about how he makes some of his cool pictures. It's a Photoshop trick. And he's a pretty entertaining guy. Um, so I say we all, the five of us, take a shot. And then we jump to Tigar's video. I think Tigar is my brother from another mother. And he we'll drinks. be back in like five minutes. He's crazy. <laughs> Just saying. All right. Well, Justin, get in here. Let's say cheers to Tigar. To Tigar. To Tigar. Cheers. 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 Be back in five. Cheers. To Tigar. To Tigar. This is for sipping, you maniacs. What are you doing? <laughs> Taking like a shot. Wow. We <laughs> What's wrong with you people? Good stuff. You guys oh, are he's animals. He's a jolly good fellow. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, it's so okay, here we are in the Lightroom. We're going to open up this image. Going to crop it a bit. Move it over. There we go. Sounds lovely in a British accent, doesn't it? Makes it sound more official. Going to uh, brighten it a bit, sharpen it a bit. A little peek into how I do this sort of uh, uh, Lightroom manipulations. Hmm, that looks lovely. Perhaps a little more bright there. Yes, we go. There we go. I'm going to put a bit of a spot on there. Yes, yes, that's very nice. Give it a dark and moody feel. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. I like that even better. And make it a little more blue. Oh, lighten it a bit. There we go. Ooh. Now we're going to go into Photoshop. This is where all the magic happens. Yes, that's right. Let's see. First thing I'm going to do for this spatter effect is to make a selection and then what we're going to do is drag it and make it really wide. It's going to look really weird, but I'm going to take care of that in a minute. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're going to layer mask it. And then we're going to invert it so it's hidden. And then when we paint with white with a brush, a spatter brush, it's going to come back. But only the pots that we want. Look at that. Looks like my hair is flying about. Already, I'll make another spatter here, and another spatter over here. Mm. It's lovely. Now every once in a while, we're going to make a mistake. I don't like the way that looks. We're going to invert the brush, paint it back. Oh, I don't like that either. We're going to erase that, and we're just going to keep going along until we find out that we've got it. 
There we go. We're basically just revealing underneath. And we're going to... Now we're going to do, uh, do the other side of the photo. And basically repeat the process, but on the other side we're going to have to make another selection. Here. Hmm. Stretch it out a bit. And there we go. And, uh, right. Same thing. Hide it. We're going to flip the brush around so it sprays in the other direction. And then we're going to paint in again. Right there. Nope. Okay. Right there. And right there. And I'm going to turn the brush a bit. Spatter some more. And I'm going to make my hair fly about a bit more there. And there we go. Wee, isn't that fun? Could sit here for hours making my hair fly about, spattering about the screen, but I think that's good enough for now. I think what we're going to do is, uh, oh, we're going to do some more. Okay, we're going to exaggerate this side of the photo more. So we're going to open it up a bit, slide it over. There we go. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know what that Australian guy was talking about. Yeah, yeah. the guys with accents suck. <clears throat> Alright, now, uh, he's gonna do some more shit over here. <clears throat> gonna, no, I don't like that brush. <laughs> Shut up, butt munch. I'm gonna pick a brush. <laughs> I'm gonna brush it over here. <laughs> I'm gonna brush it. Uh, let's see, what did he do? <clears throat> Shut up! I'm gonna do it. Alright. <laughs> this is fun. I'm gonna spatter it here. <laughs> I'm gonna spatter it over here. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> spatter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what spattering is. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. Now we're gonna go back here. We're gonna save it, and then we're gonna go back into light legged room. Light room. <laughs> light room. <laughs> we're gonna make it a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. Lighten it. I like it blue. <laughs> no. I, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you like that. Uh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna make it blue. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he looks like a mess. <laughs> I don't know what the hell those two boys were talking about, but I hope you enjoyed my tutorial of sorts. Thank you. Bye. That Tigar is one wild guy. Bless his heart. Yeah, he's, by the way, he's just, he's in Florida. Yeah, he He'd, just lives in Florida. That born and raised as an American. It's that strange. accent was a lie. <laughs> uh, I just want to bring up that Chelsea is drinking white wine out of a bowl with ice. Well, this is my um, because that's just this is how my she wine rolls. goblet, and I play by my own rules, and only God can judge me. All right, I want to also say that if you want to submit a picture, go to sdp.io slash submit submit, and I also want to say that Siobhan is that her name. On YouTube, what's her name on there? Yeah, that's it. We pay her to moderate, so if she's giving you answers like the right and be respectful because she's so cool, yeah, and you if would she's be impressed, if you met her, you would you would be impressed. If she's rude to you, then we support her being rude to you. <laughs> yeah. I've Sometimes heard. people are like, "Oh, Siobhan was mean to me, or whatever." Yeah, then you like, did something wrong. That's why I chose Siobhan <laughs> because she knows when people deserve that. Yeah, we're not some big corporation that's going to be embarrassed if an employee acts up. If Siobhan tells you we're off, drinking. then you got to come in. We're drinking. Yeah. We have no boundaries. Um, All right. Eric we... said his dream camera would be the Nikon D4S and this lens, which I'd never heard of, the Nikon 1200 to 1700 millimeter f5.6 to f8. So I had to look it up. That looks like a weapon. I, I've, it, apparently it was first created in 1990. And like, look at the case that they have to use it's to menacing. transport that thing. I've ne I can't believe I've never heard of this lens. Thanks what are you going to do with it, Eric? He, you know what? He's going to try to see us all the way from Sweden. <laughs> I think that's it. I, I like that you think all he wants is to watch us. Uh, is that that's wrong? Let's go through <laughs> some pictures that we're supposed to make fun of. Um, I don't know what is going This guy is throwing away a baby. To stop it. Don't throw away babies. He, that's last year's model. <laughs> baby. I do not even know what to say about Stop that. Stop it! This Come on. is a picture of nothing. What? Oh my god! This is not something that I see oh, often. I've seen this. So many butterflies are just walking around with 
logos on them. Yeah. It's like they're all just sponsored now. Is everything is advertising space? Everything Stop sponsored. it. You know who's that is? Who is? Erky's. What? Why did you do that, Erky? What is going on? <laughs> Erky, you're crazy. What is Arsenal? Is that some Swedish thing? Oh, it says Alvin Mod down there. Oh my god. Soccer team. Oh, oh, oh it's dumb. no, but yeah, stop, stop it. it. I I don't know. That's, that's not fine. that bad. That's pretty cool. Nothing. No. Stop taking pictures of nothing. Stop. This is some weird spot color. Look at this guy holding a guitar in front of a picture of a guitar. Stop <laughs> holding that guitar. <laughs> stop it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, do you, I think you blacked out the wrong part. You want to protect the kangaroo's identity? Well, here. he has a family. You don't want to just out him. <laughs> you know? Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Please. I'm sorry you had to see this, young sir. This picture's <laughs> cute. They seem to have done some rotation. Yeah, but that thing. kid has serious blurry hands. Stop it. You're crazy. Yeah, we should take the ice bucket challenge and try to raise some money for this blurry serious hand cause syndrome. of blurry hand syndrome. Yeah. So sad. Spot color with, I don't know. Is I that think a that's kind of a cool perspective. Yeah, I want to say maybe stop it. I don't know. Uh, stop with the sensor dust. Yeah. I don't that's what we're supposed to make fun of, but clean your sensor. What is clean it. On? Who are you? Tony Northrop? Stop it. All right. You put a lot of pictures in. Stop that. Stop oh. it with the pictures. Okay. Oh my gosh. What this is, is such an 80s portrait What thing happened? With like the, I just skipped his, all his pictures. No, is, but I mean like, why is this baby floating next to himself? I think because this person loved Olin Mills' work in the 1980s. Mm -hmm. I love, me too. <laughs> oh wait, this got the same Arsenal logo. This is Erky? Could that be Erky? <laughs> That's Robin. Stop it. Erky. Erky. <laughs> Oh, that's not oh, so bad. This is spot color, though. Look at that. It's why not would the you... worst, but why'd you do mm -hmm. it? Stop the spot color. Stop it. You know what? Um, what? I don't think this is too bad. What are you talking about? <laughs> the horizon's off level. The focus is over here in the water. Ah! <laughs> All right. Stop Very it. funny. Very funny. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is actually a more flattering picture than this one. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, that's just a beautiful cat and it's beautiful mom. And yeah, stop models. being so beautiful. Stop being so beautiful. <laughs> oh, look at that makeshift backdrop. It's like a doo doo comforter. Yeah, if you're going <laughs> to. Look at that upset baby. He's like, why? Yeah, if you're going to use a makeshift backdrop, like, let's not have like four years of hot, sweaty nights imprinted on it. I don't see stains, but we know yeah. it's a comforter, so that's probably a problem. Just stop it. Okay, That's we saw it. some of these. Oh, that was so much fun. No, I think we have. Wait, I don't oh, know why so we're seeing hot. people because, sent. Because somebody accidentally submitted their good pictures to stop it. Oh, all right. Oh my God, stop that! I don't know what this <laughs> is. I think we're just waiting for the 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 Batman plane to fly in front no, of it. No, this is something. what you see when you die. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? I've been there. Ooh. I well, I don't know what to I'd say. I'd say stop it, but this is so fun. Maybe don't stop it. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I try to take night photos of boats, and they're always moving. Yeah, they look still, it. but they're not. They're not. They're tricking you. Oh, oh. cow butts. Wow, we're seeing a lot of animal Ooh, junk tonight. Guys, come on. Otherwise, a nice photo, but. Such a beautiful, If that's a beautiful cow butt, though. Yeah. There are some citizens of Pflugerville, Texas, who are a little aroused right now. <laughs> oh, my God, Tony. We had somebody who said, <laughs> I was making fun of Pflugerville where I Master grew up. Master Commander 3 said, what? I'm in Pflugerville right now. And I just want to say, maybe I said some stuff right. I shouldn't have said. And I've been Go to Pflugerville. Um, I saw the high school. <laughs> and that's good. That's a boring statue. Um, you know who our arch rival, our nemesis was? The Hutto Hippos. <laughs> that was their mascot, the Hippos. Yeah, but hippos are very dangerous animals. Oh, well, thanks for that little fact, Chelsea. But panthers are still cooler <laughs> than hippos, right? Maybe. Maybe. There were also the ducks were another high school team. I don't know if we exhausted all of the animal kingdom in the central Texas like, area. What are some uninteresting animals that could be our mascot? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get by this baby. That same picture seems fine. That's a fine. nice picture, but I don't think that was supposed to be submitted to stop it. That. That's fine. Come on, guys. Guys, come on. 
people are confused. Guys, we made this way too guys, complex. Come on. I don't know what this is, but look at that. Uh, that dog. dog's adorable. He matches the couch. <laughs> yeah, He's stop. like, can you see me? <laughs> oh my god. That's actually a brilliant idea because then when he sheds, all the hair just kind of you, it's not as visible. And cute mm. dog. I like the idea of going to a breeder with a swatch and being like, do you have any puppies that match my couch? <laughs> that one will do. This ox looks like he's about to be in a terrorist video. <laughs> it's like, we have your ox. Return it. Right? <laughs> Let's put a little like blindfold on him. That's, America that's, is the devil. That's true, though. I These pictures are not... Oh, Ooh. thank God. Erky knows what's up. I recognize that adorable baby. <laughs> And that what is, did you do? Why would you make the baby gray? Did you do though? this just for us to make fun of? <laughs> he did. <laughs> the green grass. He was and like, I love my grass. Baby. I wish my baby wasn't in the way. <laughs> 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 She's still cute though. So good job with the baby, but stop it with the spot color. Well, I don't know what's going on here. It's so avant garde. I just wish you would stop it. <laughs> this makes me Oh, lonely. definitely stop this. If you did anything with this picture, but immediately delete it. Oh, <laughs> that is a picture of nothing. That's a That's great nice. picture. That's nice. Why'd you Stop. put no. that here? Wow. Oh. Well, they know how to get to me. This they is know. everything I love all together. <laughs> That's a Pflugerville thing. <laughs> Velveeta and a camera. Ah, oh, they must have had to save like 20 box tops to get that camera. Yeah. I, I, that would be, that's worth something. That's worth nothing. Oh, you people who, I don't. Know what we're oh. supposed to make fun of anymore? <laughs> Me either. Oh look, that's a oh she has they have an camera. RB67. I love that camera. That's a nice we were picture. We're just talking about that, but they don't know that because they need, haven't seen that video. This this picture just needed exposure compensation. That one? No, the next one. That one. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be making fun of these pictures, people. That's beautiful. That's the most beautiful. I think we can tell her to stop it with the outfit. The picture is fairly brilliant because yes, you need to document this kind of thing when you see it. It's important to be able to I have share those. this moment with you. Don't your like friend. that? <laughs> I wear that to church. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I don't have a problem. Let's keep going. No, just, they're trying to be like gritty Dude. and urban or something. Stop that, seagulls. Okay, people, I'm kind of disappointed in the whole stop it thing. You guys are not very bad few enough. Truly if you embarrassing bring pictures it down, in there. Yeah, I need to submit some of my early pictures because they're very stop editable. Yeah, we really need you to humiliate yourself. If here, you're people. not crying at the end, you're just not stopping it, right? Okay, we can take a look at some more pictures. Let me uh, refresh. Yeah, see if we have any new comments for Dream Gear or questions for us that people have put in the comments. Oh, there's so many words. Well, read some of them. <laughs> Dave Wilson says, my dream setup is to just be successful enough that my cash flow allows me to upgrade to the newest thing Ooh, every year or two. Way too many words. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I see what he means and I, I feel you, bro. Um, Jan Eric says, my dream camera slash lens is my eyes slash brain. So that's, so that's an affordable option. So if you win the lottery, option. you're going to buy your eyes slash brain, Jan Eric. You don't know him. Someone else could own them. This is a crazy world. Um, let's see what else we have. Oh, this is also a comment from Jan Eric. He says, is Tony from Scandinavia? His surname sounds Danish or something. Um, I think it's a British surname. No. I think no. it's British, but then we got a DNA test for him and he's Middle Eastern. That explains my... <clears throat> that exp explains your round face. Oscar says, Tony slash Chelsea. Why you never speak about Olympus? We, l we love Olympus, and we actually just made a video about our favorite gear right before we we started doing the show, and the Olympus camera was one of them. Yeah, the, the EM10 made yeah. our seven favorite cameras of all time. So we talked about it. Yeah, and we've also reviewed the EM1, like two of their their two biggest cameras, really. So yeah, we're, we're all big fans of Olympus. In-body image stabilization. Brilliant. Um, Got anything else in there, Charles? Pigar said, this guy is boring. I'm going to go pee. And then Eric called him Pigar. <laughs> and then Eric said, that pangaroo, kangaroo pick was mine. So we just have a whole lot of crazy. I don't even know how to respond to it. Okay, let's take a look at some pictures here. Okay. Uh, Great Blue Heron, in black and white, though. Pigar. An unusual way to process it. <laughs> uh, we have some heavy vignetting here, which you could easily fix. Uh, with the develop module in here. I'll show you how to do that. Just go into develop and Maybe then... Maybe they did it on Poitus. 
You know, maybe, but it, it doesn't look deliberate to me. Mm, you're right. Lens corrections. Um, okay, for some reason it didn't automatically, let's see, auto? No. Oh boy. All right, so we'll just, there we go, look, we can just fix those corners and but now it looks they're much white. more natural. That doesn't look natural. You're right, it doesn't look natural down there. The other corners look good. All right, that's all I would fix about that. <laughs> just go past that, nobody. <laughs> Pumpkins, um, pumpkins everywhere. I would zoom in on this so much. Straighten up a little bit because we have some vertical trees in there. Yeah, you'd get a little closer to the pumpkins and kind of fill the frame with those. Those pumpkins are really beautiful. Those, the grape ball picture, I would love to just put a whole family right in the middle there. Yeah, I wouldn't mind just getting, using a wide angle lens and getting nice and close and really filling the frame with the, the pumpkins. Rusty bike shot. I feel like the subject here is some smaller part of this. Yeah. It's some... It's propped up by a coconut, <clears throat> I think. I mean, there's a whole story here. Yeah, this I feel like was taken someplace tropical like mm -hmm. Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And also, I, I love the fact that they've used a piece of lumber here. It's like the club for bikes, and they made it. Yeah. I, I guess there is something cool about this picture. I do like it now that I just took a closer look at it. I don't. Interesting it's shot. too cluttered. It makes me crazy. Um, I'm just going to be honest with you. It's a picture you have to study. This is a I've gorgeous I've seen picture. so many pictures Fantastic. of this place. Where is it? How can I go there? It's beautiful. Um, ooh, I'm going to guess China. like Tahiti. No, or, it's in China. It, okay. I believe you. I don't know. Um, I just made that up. I just want to, I think it's a stellar picture. Just be careful about the fringing here. Ooh. Yeah, if you make heavy adjustments in uh, Lightroom or, or anything really, I'll zoom right in here. You can see there's this like white here and that, that kind of gives away that you've done some heavy processing on mm, the sky. Like on its fringing if like you're that. good in Photoshop, you can avoid that just with careful selections and feathering and stuff and it just takes time. It's something people put hours into. Okay, we've got somebody going for the cover of Lowrider Magazine, I think. <laughs> That's so sexy. <laughs> Just kidding. That's not. <laughs> the Dutch till, I think, is a few degrees too much. We're almost at a 45 degree angle there. I <laughs> think I'd like to see it at like a 23 degree angle. She has no catch light in her eyes, so her eyes have just gone dark. Um, we need a little front lighting. You could do that by raising the shadows. What's sexier than a lady cleaning your car? <laughs> Even I would be turned on by that. <laughs> You're gonna crop it down to just grill and boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I know what the men's is like. I didn't actually mean to do that. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, that shot is kicking in, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Let's just keep going. So there's Chelsea's at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like the green in that chill, the Puerto Rican chill after me. It's just going a little crazier than the Dutch. The Dutch are kind of getting a bad rap between I'm, that and not paying Dutch for the whole bill. The Dutch are quite mild. Wooden shoes. Those wooden shoes. This is a nice picture. It is. It looks nice and sharp. Great How job. Great light. About it? Beautiful, Look at that nice green background. Um, oh chapter my eight gosh. of Stunning Digital Photography has a video on how to make that background completely noise free without reducing the sharpness in your subject. Would you even mind if your baby came out like this? <laughs> I mean, wait, I I'd mean, wonder who you cheated on me with. I mean, you would gasp initially. Initially, you would be like, ah, but then you'd be like, yeah. That baby's cute. <laughs> yeah, he's really cute. Are what you... can I mean? I can. Okay, I like these changes. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Let's keep. Oh, oh, I went real warm with it. Let's go. Okay. I love it. His chest freaks me out, but let's just. I wish I had that baby. We saw this already. Oh. Wait, we made fun <laughs> of that picture, and I think we weren't supposed to. Oh. That's a really cute picture. Great choice for black and white because I bet all the colors in the hammock are distracting. It's so sweet. That's just the sweetest picture. Yeah, that's really cool. I love it. Pick. Oh, got a soft part, spot for dogs. Oh, a, a puffin. puffin. <laughs> oh, we got to crop this. Mm -hmm. No, you want to show all the water? Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing it a little tighter. Oh, Sandy, oh. come on. Sandy's protecting us from murderers once again. She's been a thousand so far. People say she barks too much, but so far nobody's broken in or killed Nobody us. Nobody has murdered us. So little crop, we still want to show the action. We don't mind getting the puffin a little closer. That um, is beautiful. Beautiful shot. Where'd you take this <clears> picture? I do want to go on one of those puffin Yeah, let's go on a tours. puffin adventure. 
uh, nice studio shot. Yeah. She she's not like like not making direct eye contact. She seems to be looking off camera. I almost wonder if it's one of those like model shoots where you have like five people trying to take a picture at the same time or something. No, I think she is looking at them. Oh, really? I think she might have a little bit of a lazy eye, which I do too. And um, you can make that less noticeable by just doing like a three-quarter shot or something. Sometimes the lighting can can do that too. Yeah. Um, I like the I pink think we need to make her laugh. Look. Because don't you feel like she's posing a little bit I'm and she's like, not feeling completely comfortable? It's a little bit stiff. Um, I can also see that you've gone in and cleaned up the flyaways, which is a good thing to do. I think they did a pretty good job. And they did a pretty good job of it. Yeah, you can be a little more careful It's with really the difficult with it, this background because there's a gradient in the background. Yes. That can be a real nightmare. Yeah, that makes it much harder. Let so, me tell you something that I do if it's that bad. Tony taught me this trick. Make two layers in Photoshop. The, the first layer, just completely recreate the background. So you don't even care if you cut into your model's head and stuff. You yeah, just, just delete the model completely. Yeah, almost completely delete the model. Make a picture that's model. nothing but the background. And then put it behind the model and then use that to get rid of the flyaways. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm coming out with a Photoshop DVD, so you might want to check it out. But yeah. um, I also might want to see a feminine head tilt instead of a masculine head tilt on her. Have her tilt her head a little bit further away. Just because she has such a friendly expression. Yeah. Like it's not a stern expression. But I at all. like it. I like that they but we're they kept with the theme because it's a great picture, yeah. great makeup, great lighting. Everything is great. I'm sorry I didn't say start by saying positive things. I'm going to give that one a pick and a five stars. Nice wow! Wow! Whoa! What a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> cool lighting on this. I wonder if it was actually purple or if they've adjusted. Oh yeah, that's it purple castle. A little bit. You know about that? Um, there's a lot of. He doesn't even listen to me when I'm trying to lie anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm just so used to it. I feel like there's a lot in here that we don't care about. And I think the sky is cool, but I think, you know, your main subject here is this castle and maybe those steeples, um, as well as the reflection. I, I would definitely have, like, zoomed in some. Just my own take. Cool abstract. This is I love cool. it. Just this is great real colors. cool. Allie, is this cool? She gives it two thumbs up. But I don't think she's paying attention. Oh, wait, now she's doing this. Uh, she's going like this. No, you Ooh, like that. She I like it. this picture. <laughs> she did that. Is that how you really feel, or did you just want to do that? I don't know, it's pretty boring. <gasps> right. She's bored. Allie says it's boring. What if there was a llama in there? <laughs> she says, yeah, more llama. I like that picture. I think it's a good stock photo. Oh. Look at this bear. 800 millimeters. They have an 800 millimeter F56. Those are. That's really probably how far lenses. away you should be from a bear. And still the bear is like, where'd you get that lens? I like those. Yeah, I think they misfocused a little bit. It looks like it caught the ears instead of the eyes. But you don't, I don't know that I've ever seen somebody submit a picture from an 800 f Wait, let's try to put, no, I was wrong. That yeah, wrong. Uh, nice good shot. I mean, it's a good shot. We kind of want the bear pulling a salmon out of the water. Like, that's the next level I in wildlife. That's something to aspire to. I want to make a tuna to. sandwich. Mm -hmm. it, you would probably like a tuna sandwich. Oh, mm. This there's... picture's way too dark. Wait, yeah, we got to just... Just crank the whole exposure up. I. You want your histogram to be touching yeah. like that. And, yeah. Um, but the the subject is the dog's paw. There we go. Black and white does work better. We can put down the blacks a little bit just to give the picture a bit of depth. And we can bump up those highlights and uh, maybe the clarity a little bit. Just a smidgen. And I think that now the focus is more on the paw. I do a before and after, but I forgot them. I always forget that keyboard shortcut too. I do too. It's like important and this is our job. And where are we <laughs> going wrong with our lives? Is oh, and the here's the dog? other part of the dog. The yeah. other end of the dog. Same problem. has got to crank up the exposure some. <laughs> oh, I was going to do it. Here we have some cool street photography. Band yeah, playing. I really like this picture. I want to give it a pick and a fave or whatever. Pick five stars. I, I feel like it needs a good crop, don't you think? There's just too much negative space it around would. it. Like, it's, like, it's like you're a cliche of yourself. Not better than I that? like the backpack, though. I like the You'd story. Liked... Okay. Why are you doing... Provided some extra context. Mm. She's pretty intense. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the back... 
they're going for something gritty here and her mood matches it and the outfit matches it. Um, I would smooth out her skin. A little bit. You know what, I, I think it's the, the background that's inconsistent with the mood and that's what Ooh. bothers me the most. I would rather see a low key background or better yet, I'd like to see this done in a city, like an urban yeah, environment, okay, graffiti okay. filled wall. The kind of mid key background almost has like a happy mood to it. Uh, I think that's the only thing that's missing. I think everything else is lined up. I think you're doing good work. You're heading in the right direction. Don't you think? Yeah, I think it's a cool picture. Yeah, they put a lot of effort into that picture. It looks good. It looks good. Sunset picture, Everyone rule of thirds composition. Sunset. Very nice. Okay. If there were a sailboat there, it'd be that much better. If there were people walking along the beach here, that'd be like an extra focal point and that would really help. A flock of seagulls or geese or something. Geese. Nobody likes those. Uh, statue. What's this? Looks like a statue. I think it's a mom hugging a baby. Oh, I love Coffee this cups. picture. I love that picture. Yeah, I like that too. I wonder what, what they're doing here. It looks like uh, a, a medium format, like a six by six yes, or something. Yes, very cool. I'm into um, it. I'm into this. Let's give it a pick and a fave or whatever. Five stars, all that. Yeah, in fact, we were just talking about our RB67. and Makes me fisty. This is not a Polaroid from that, but it's a Polaroid from something. No, no but it's it has not. metadata No, somehow. it's just, so, it's a div digital picture that's supposed to look oh, like film. I see. Okay. It it's looks a little like a bit, Polaroid, but... It's a little bit posery, but I... Wow. Whoa. We have to do this. Hold on a second. What's going on in the background? Oh, they... oh, it's plastic they put down for the paint. But I just wanted to bring out her boots. So you could like selectively bring out her boots because they're, she's getting cut off here. But if I bring up the shadows, then you also see that, oh wait, what is that? Is it a palm tree? It's like plastic, but there's, is that their background is a palm tree? I think Look, they might have, I'm not going to try know. to figure out all this, but <clears throat> you can just bring out her boots a little bit and that'd probably be good. Yeah, they do this technique by taking, well, usually it's like milk, um, uh, but maybe that's some sort of paint, and they splash it on a person, and they do it a hundred times, and then they kind of edit the pictures together until they have a full outfit. So they're like splashing their different parts of their body, and then stitching all those different pictures together. Let's so it's do real one of those. Heavy. I'm gonna splat, put you in a speedo, and <laughs> splash you with milk. I do not think that's the picture that people would want to see. <laughs> maybe Tigar would want to see that, but most people would. would not. What are you saying about Tigar? Uh, okay. So here they um, have a good background. I actually think the dress might be a bit cheery for it all. Well, I, was I don't gonna know. Say, She's got like a tiara. No, there's and... a mix of moods because you have this gritty background, an intense stare, and the light is dramatic. And then she's wearing like a tiara, and she's got pageant hair and a red dress. Like I think she should be with the mood. Like, Tiara Girl wouldn't be hanging out at this prison or something. We need a badass. Right? Rough yeah. her up a little. Or bring her somewhere sunny, like a field. But I feel like there are two conflicting moods in this picture. Maybe she has some, some kind of mental anguish. Yeah, you're right. There are two conflicting moods, but there's not enough storytelling there for us to kind of piece it together. Maybe if she were smudged up a little bit, if we could tell. Smudge her up. She'd, like, escaped prom. And because then just was, went to like a an abandoned place. Yeah. She was like, I don't play by those rules. But yeah, she's at the same time she's not messed up enough to be there. She want like yeah. grease on her face or why something. Why would that maybe. happen? What, what? Why would there be know. grease on her face? Because she's, she's messed escaped up. and she's climbed through up. the chimney or something like she that. She climbed through the chimney at prom. <laughs> Man, those are the ugliest babies I've ever seen. Oh, Look at how these. could you say it? You can't just those talk some about someone's baby babies. like that. Oh man. Well, this picture is very cute. It's it's off level and that always bugs me, so that's you know, an easy thing to fix so though. He's so crazy about that. Um we're going for a symmetrical composition here, so we want to see this to be right in the middle and a little bit of cropping, I think it's a great picture. Chels, jump in if you find any good comments or questions that you want to read. A classic kind of sunset picture, well done. I wouldn't mind seeing this done with a more telephoto lens. Zoom in a little bit more. That'll make the sun bigger, make it more of a focal point. 
Okay, that's a good example. That zoomed in just a little bit. <laughs> Nicely done. Well, it's beautiful. Um, oh, that guy said it's milk with blue food coloring. Oh, okay. Uh, I, Carl I am Daniels. interested in the mood. The good job, Carl. Splashing of the milk thing. Yeah, I like the splashing of the milk. That was really cool. I like this picture. Still oh, a little underexposed. This person accidentally submitted his good picture to the stop it section. I, I'm truly sorry if we <laughs> made fun of a picture sorry. that you liked. Yeah, there was a lot of confusion. We gotta figure out a way to warn people before they submit something. Devarshi Patel says, "Chelsea, please acknowledge my existence. You exist. <laughs> you did it. Maybe he's got that that disorder you that do. they had in Hannibal where they thought they were dead. Oh, you're not dead. No, we can <laughs> you're interact here. with you. I read we it. know you exist. And... Yeah, you're here. Great picture. I like the, the symmetry and the perfect reflection here. I love the mood. The off-center the sun. The stillness, that peaceful sunset. Yeah, this is really so nice. beautiful. Yeah, this doesn't need anything else. The reflection is just nice enough on its own. Oh, <laughs> look at the scared baby. Yeah, this is great street photography. I love her expression. I'm I'm kind of tempted to pull it in a little bit from the right and just make her a little more make her expression a little more prominent in it all. What do you think? I like that, and I also like the whole scene because mm -hmm. I like seeing the mom too. But that's good too. It it kind of depends on how it's going to be exhibited too. I think this would be more successful on the web where people mm -hmm. are using small screens mm -hmm. and they don't have the attention to to peruse the entire format. Yeah. I think if you're putting it up in a gallery, it'd probably go uncropped and show the whole thing and okay. people will take their time more. Oh my gosh, is this the church from that Guns N' Roses song? <clears throat> November Rain? <laughs> Just tell me. Just write it in the comments. I won't mind. A little bit of sensor dust. Cool composition. I like the wide angle. I, I don't... I, I'm so tempted to move over to the left over here and put those uh, headstones in the foreground, don't you think that would be cool? No. Here we have nothing in the foreground, but those headstones would be. I like cool it. Foreground. Maybe they couldn't. Because then the neighborhood would the be in the background. Yeah. See. Yeah. I understand. You kind of have to you make that compromise. Got to do what you got to do. Uh, I want to see his eyes a little bit more, but overall, nice macro picture. You could crop that down tighter too. Tony, it's six oh five. Oh man, that's a mannequin booty. Mannequin butt. I like the composition of it. I'm really it's into mannequin butt, so this works for me. Yeah, this works in black and white. I, I like this picture. I, I want to just make the butt crack more defined. Okay. Let's see if we have any more comments. Uh, no. Pretty much no. <laughs> uh, okay, we can go through a couple more pictures and then wrap it up. Uh, oh, that's such a nice picture. Yeah. Cute picture. I love the storms in the background. Ooh, this wow. is Wow, so this is like photojournalism Ooh. and definitely has kind of a shocking mood to it. And you see the storytelling going yeah. on here. You see the e EMT people. Uh, you scared, Ali? And their banners and nicely done. Here we have uh, Miss Wisconsin, perhaps. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing crop down from the top a little bit, I like to see the eyes right at the top third, uh, or even closer. Don't you know. crop into her crown. <laughs> oh dear lord! You're, you're right that the dear lord, you the crown is an important part of the story, but you could definitely crop closer to it. Miss uh, whatever. Apparently, this is what people in Wisconsin do. Did you know this? It's like W. That's not Wisconsin. She could be Miss Wishbone. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> That's a cute baby. Yeah, cute baby. Again, I, I like to see the eyes in small, the top third, so I wouldn't mind seeing it baby. cropped in a little bit. Uh, ginger's not a positive term. Orange baby. <laughs> I like that baby. Uh, let's just jump through and get through as many pictures as we can. Uh, great mood. I love the fog here. The rocks are interesting enough to Those be are rock. a foreground subject. <laughs> Uh, I don't like that they're so close to the bottom of the yeah, frame, but I understand it's hard to compose pictures. You just say what's on your mind. <laughs> All right. Very cool symmetry. Car shows are really difficult to work in, and we just recorded a video on how to photograph Those are not real shows. bullet holes. 
Um, I don't know why you desaturated so many colors but left the red in. I'd probably just go completely black and white at this point because the red in the background was just distracting. But oh. uh, I like the symmetry that you went for. My God. Our favorite bird in Osprey who's half I've never eaten. seen one with like a fish fillet like that, you know? Yeah, they'll grab a fish, go into a tree and dine on it. And sometimes they're interrupted. And so they take their half eaten meal and fly somewhere else. And that's what's happened here. Come on, see his eyeball. Okay, so here we have That's an a nice scene. HDR landscape. It, it, I, I would dial down the processing a little bit. I would too, because you're getting all these like, this darkness here. You're getting some weirdness <clears throat> here. Yeah, you want all these clouds to be mostly white, just to make it look more natural. Yeah, what if we brought up the highlights? Like, no. it's very weird right away to the eye that the snow on the mountains is brighter than the, the clouds in the sky. It's weird to the eye. Yeah, weird to the eye and other parts of the body. Weird to the eye. This, um, this is a very pill. cool shot. Oh, you're uh, gonna crop it. Yeah. <laughs> you are you are unpredictable. I didn't like that crop. I'm gonna come out and say it. Okay. I shoot from the hip like that. More air show photos. This one works for me. I like the composition of it. The... Oh, it works for you. Is that what it's about? <laughs> <laughs> I I I don't like the vignetting. I suspect it's natural, but I wouldn't mind uh, seeing that brightened up a little bit. More pictures of airplanes, cool shot. Oh, very cool smoke shot. This is something we've kind of Ooh, been working on. I don't know that's so creepy. what's going on here, but that's a very so, interesting shot. Ooh, Pick ooh. five stars. Oh, cute little picture of three friends. Sun is setting behind them. I love the backlighting. Uh, I want to kind of raise the exposure just a little bit. A little dark. And then, um, well, I know the low contrast look is kind of a look. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and crank the contrast up a little bit more. I like that. I think you made improvements today. Get any other comments or questions for us, Chels, before we get out of here? No. I did it. Cool picture. You gotta bring up, I like that. I know I always do it, but you have to bring up the shadows. It looks like they're wearing blobs, not suits. There we go. Yeah, you do want to show a little bit of detail. Like a little less than that. Okay. This is the most handsome seagull <laughs> I've ever seen. Yeah, in fact, I want to go even... It's so beautiful. ...cheesier with this and do, like, a little off-center composition. Sorry to crop out your watermark here, but let's go with the rule of thirds and just make them, like, a totally handsome beauty portrait. <laughs> like he's selling us a cologne. He's yeah, like, you're right. Seagull. It looks like a cologne ad. Seagull by that. Calvin Klein. Seagull. Okay, needs a focal Can point. Can I see that seagull again? That was so beautiful. <laughs> did, how did God. I not give that a pick in five stars? I Thank love you, Mr. That seagull. seagull. Let's see if anything. Oh, beautiful shot of the ooh, Milky ooh, Way. Ooh. Oh, we very rarely get to see the sky that clearly. I just don't even get to see the sky these days. Great, great God rays. Crazy windmill. Windmill is showing a little action. Uh, okay, reflection shot. Reflections. Decent. Mm. Birds. Ladies, lovely lady. Yeah, nice shot. The hair looks good. I wouldn't mind a kicker light just off the left, kind of shining behind her just to bring out her hair and yeah. backlight her a little bit, separate her from the background mm -hmm. a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, she could use a little powder. That's what she needs. Something you do with makeup, a little powder will cut the reflections. You're going to be under hard lights. You'd wear more powder than you normally would. Yeah, you wear a lot more makeup when you're on camera. Yeah. That's a nice portrait. Oh my gosh, that is yeah. a snazzy suit. Yeah, I don't like the crop on his hands because uh, it's kind of in an awkward position. You want to crop between the joints, like here, uh, between the elbow, not like in the middle of a person's hand. So that's a little more comfortable crop, or you could even go tighter than that, I think. I, can we go back to that one? Yeah. I think I might make it... I think I might do black and white. I, I feel mean, like it's a senior portrait, so it's kind of, I don't know, maybe they need color photos. But you're right, I think. The blue the is... The blue, I think the background might be fake. They might have photoshopped it in. Oh, um, what? But the blue is too intense. I don't, I don't know. Let's at least bring the saturation on it down. It's just too much, right? It's, it's overwhelming. too much, too much. Yeah. Too much, too much. That's cool. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Yeah. This, this reminds me of Hannibal. I, that was my first thought, too. Yeah. Allie was like, ah! 
because she loves <laughs> Hannibal too. Hannibal's a good show if you haven't that watched it. That is so oh, good. Okay. Is, can that be real? That's not real. Why is this so small? This is a trick. <laughs> this isn't real. Um, I wonder. I think it's real. I don't it's know how so they managed beautiful. to get a buck walking into they have like a, a light like that. Buck. But <laughs> His name shot. is also Buck. <laughs> All right, that's it. Well, thanks so much for joining us here every Thursday at 5 o'clock Eastern Time. You can go to sdp.io slash live, and that always takes you to the latest show. Be sure to subscribe to see all our new free videos. We have a couple new ones coming out in the next week that we've already recorded, so be looking forward to that. Share us with all your friends. That helps us support us. And I'm on Twitter. Yeah, check us out on social networks. Chelsea Northrue. Mm. And I'm Tony Northrup on Twitter. How'd you get your name? I claimed it early. As soon as Twitter popped up, I'm like, I always go and claim my name and I need a social network. So smart. And uh, there's a sponsor for the show and we appreciate them very much. Squarespace. Where would people go if they want an awesome portfolio at a very low price? Squarespace.com slash Tony. Yeah, and you get 14 days free, no credit card required. If you decide you want to sign up, you can use the coupon code photo live. I tell people every week. Off. It's so fun. Just go there, try it for free. If you don't like it, you don't have to buy it. But I think it's a great exercise. They make the show possible. We wouldn't be they here without Squarespace. So thank you very much, I mean, Squarespace. I would exist without them, but the show wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye.